babe's booze and a quote that cost half a million dollars? Pull on your cowboy boots and saddle up for the untold truth of Morgan Wallen. A true Tennessean, Morgan Wallen was born in the tiny town of Sneedville, near the state's northern border with Virginia. Wallen recalled his childhood home had picturesque mountains all around, but not much in terms of entertainment. He also grew up in a religious household, since his dad was a local pastor. As a result, Wallen told the Country Daily, I went to church every time the doors were open. When he was in high school, Wallen's family relocated to Knoxville, Tennessee. He also transitioned away from listening to the gospel tracks he grew up with to more contemporary music like Nickelback, according to The New Yorker. As for siblings, Wallen has an adopted sister, Lacey, and two sisters who appear to support his career and life. His sister Michaela posted on Instagram, saying, "'Family is there for you no matter what, so I'm here to love and support you through your mistakes and your wins.'" Wallen is also extremely close with the other women in his family. He explained on The Voice, "'My mom and my grandmother, They've always been my biggest supporters in whatever I do." Morgan Wallen played baseball since he was four years old and started traveling for competitive leagues around the age of 11. Wallen told Bobby Cast he believed he was good enough to play in college, but he didn't have the work ethic of some of his teammates. Still, Wallen became enthralled with the sport. He told the Country Daily, I fell in love with baseball and just focused on that. Baseball was my passion. Unfortunately, an injury to his right elbow changed his plans and forced him to stop playing. While he was understandably frustrated, he eventually turned to music. Wallen had liked music from a young age as well, but the older he got, the more he focused on athletics because, as he told Nashville Lifestyles, playing sports was cooler than playing music. While The Voice opened the doors for Morgan Wallen's singing career, Wallen admitted he'd never even heard of the show until his mom revealed she signed him up to compete. He said he went in carefree, especially since winning the competition was never a goal of his. After a couple rounds of auditions, he advanced and earned a spot on the show. Ultimately, he placed in the top 20 before failing to advance. After his first performance, Shakira and Usher selected him to move forward in the competition. I'm gonna have to go with my man Usher. Shakira said about his distinctive voice, it's as manly as it gets. Ironically, country singer Blake Shelton didn't choose Wallen, as his team was already full. Wallen credits the vocal coach provided by the show to helping hone his skills and figure out his sound. The singer told the Country Daily that he went into the competition trying to sound like a pop singer, but left with his true voice and aspiration to be a country singer. Part of the reason he tried the pop angle was by request from producers associated with the show. He revealed to GQ, people in LA seemed larger than life at the time, so I did what they told me. In 2020, Wallen was kicked out of Kid Rock's big ass honky tonk and rock and roll steakhouse for reportedly breaking glass items inside. Then he apparently yelled at people in the street until officers arrested the singer for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. Per the Tennessean, in a public apology, Wallen went on Twitter to explain in a sense deleted post. The singer wrote via Billboard, We didn't mean any harm and we want to say sorry to any bar staff or anyone that was affected. Thank you to the local authorities for being so professional and doing their job with class. Love y'all. Also in 2020, Wallen was captured in TikTok videos partying during the pandemic while much of the country was under strict lockdowns. One video showed Wallen kissing several different women and potentially touching another on the backside, all without wearing a face covering. Following a college football game, various videos showed the singer playing guitar, drinking, hanging out at victory parties, clearly ignoring social distancing recommendations in place, Alabama recapped. In 2021, TMZ released a video of Wallen returning home with friends after a night out in Nashville. In his driveway, Wallen was loud enough to disrupt neighbors and appeared intoxicated. But the worst part of the video was when Wallen referred to his friends as profanities, including a racial slur. Wallen told TMZ after the video surfaced, I'm embarrassed and sorry. I used an unacceptable and inappropriate racial slur that I wish I could take back. There are no excuses to use this type of language ever. I want to sincerely apologize for using the word. However, However, the apologies did little to reduce the fallout of the incident. Wallen's record label, Big Loud, suspended his contract. Per the Los Angeles Times, the Academy of Country Music announced Wallen was ineligible for awards at the event, and his music was pulled from Spotify and Apple Music playlists. And I just want to encourage anyone watching to please learn from my mistake. 
Originally, Morgan Wallen had longer hair. He kept the idea in the back of his mind to have a signature silhouette, but couldn't quite figure out how until visiting his family back home. While Wallen looked through wedding photos of his parents, he noticed his dad had a mullet at the time when he was 25 years old. Wallen just so happened to also be 25, and thought if his dad could look that cool with a mullet, so could he. Wallen said his label was originally against the idea of a mullet, which only made the singer want the divisive hairstyle even more. After getting the cut, Wallen had no idea how well his fans would receive the new look. He told Bobby Cast about the positive reception, saying, I didn't expect it to become a thing. I didn't expect to show up at shows and dudes are wearing mullets and cut-off flannels. I just liked how it looked. In addition to working with a stylist to create vintage, southern rock-inspired looks, Wallen admitted he likes to create simple outfits with a nice pair of jeans and boots by Tecovis. Up top, Wallen said he is a big fan of Wrangler shirts. Morgan Wallen became a dad in July 2020, when he welcomed his son, Indigo Wilder, with his ex-fiancee, Katie Smith, people reported. In a photo holding his baby boy, Wallen captioned on Instagram, in part, Since you came into the world Friday, I see mine differently now. It's not just me anymore, and I'm glad it's not. Wallen admitted that he was a little scared of what it would be like to be a dad, but said after his son's birth, it's the coolest damn feeling. The following year, Smith shared a series of photos on Instagram of Indigo's first birthday. Wallen was there for the occasion, posing with Smith and his son. At that point, Smith and Wallen were already separated, per page six. Wallen told people that life as a single dad isn't how he imagined it. He said, I wanted to have a family like my parents. My parents are still together, you know? That was my idea for what my life would look like. In fact, he even admitted to struggling with the fact that his picturesque family ended with his split from Smith. After videos surfaced of Wallen partying, kissing women, and ignoring social distancing measures, the backlash caused Wallen to realize others look up to him as a role model. Although his fans might argue that Morgan Wallen has been popular for a long time, the singer was modest about his success during his ascent in the industry. According to him, it wasn't until the backlash he received from partying during the pandemic that he realized how famous he really was. He told People about his life in the spotlight, I guess that's when I truly figured out that things are different now. While his public celebrations may indicate that Wallen loves his role as a famous country music star, the reality is more complex. He revealed on CBC Radio, Most days I wake up and I'm thrilled to be able to do what I do. But some days, you know, you don't. The singer said that even though he aspired to be a musician and his dreams came true, nothing could prepare him for the pressures of fame. Even seemingly fun parts, like playing live shows, became burdensome after grueling performance schedules. Still, Wallen tried not to let fame get the best of him. He told the Washington Post, A lot of people get too caught up in trying to be Hollywood, like that's the epitome of success or something. I'm just in a really good place mentally. I got my little boy, I got my family. I in his opinion, Wallen said it was important to remember his upbringing and to always treat people with respect. In addition to wowing audiences during live performances, Morgan Wallen uses his philanthropic side to bring joy to others. One of his most important projects is his More Than My Hometown Foundation. The singer established the organization in 2021 after his parents adopted a child. Wallen wrote, There are many elements that aid in the development and protection of an adolescent's life, and that is why I created the foundation, so a child's resources are not limited due to their circumstances. In 2022, he and his foundation donated $25,000 after wildfires caused extensive damage in his home state of Tennessee, AP News reported. The foundation also donated $100,000 to the National Museum of African American Music in Nashville, per USA Today. This was the last part of a larger promise of $500,000 total to the Black Music Action Coalition. These donations were one of several ways Wallen publicly apologized after a video showed him saying a racial slur. The event actually caused a spike in Wallen's music sales, which his team estimated to be around half a million dollars. We decided to, do to donate that money to, to some organizations, BMAC being the first one. During his Dangerous tour in 2022, Wallen partnered with Greater Good Music to help communities where his tour bus stopped. For example, the town of Evansville, Indiana received a truck worth of food delivered, thanks to the country singer. 